Okay, uh, so let's continue. Welcome back. So, I was telling you earlier today. Um, a, a lot of things, my Kaneva. Yes. But I was telling you earlier today that uh, I was getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! in a small way, right? Right, right, right. Um, what I didn't tell you... Oh, shit. Atlas, you just cut off my audio diary, you dick! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Rude. Uh, fuck. Can I... Yeah, I, I think I can re-listen to them in this game. Uh, yeah, right here. Neptune's Bounty, and it was this one, Eden Leaking. Um, so I'll let that play while I'm just talking in the background. Okay. Uh, what I didn't talk to you about, I don't think, is that this year is the 15th year anniversary for Yu-Gi-Oh. Is that not crazy? I feel old, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I don't know when the exact day is for when the first one was released, like the first pack, Legend of the Blue Eyes, Yeah. Uh, was released here in, in North America, but... But... I do know it was in 2002, because that's when I started playing. And I started playing back when Legend of the Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders first came out. And then Magic Ruler was soon after, even though then it started being called Spell Ruler when Magic was all like, yeah. mm, that's, our, that's our word. Legacy of Darkness was still the best booster pack out there, though. Legacy of Darkness was pretty cool. Um, do you want to feel even more old? What's that? Yesterday. So today is February 1st. Yesterday was January 31st. It was Final Fantasy VII's 20th anniversary. Isn't that freaking awesome? Yeah. Final Fantasy VII's 20th and... It's and Square Enix's 30th anniversary since Final Fantasy I. Yeah. Do you guys oh, feel old yet? <laughs> That's so cool, though. Although I'm pretty disappointed with most of the announcement that they've made, but we'll, we'll talk about this whenever we record Final Fantasy. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, oh, right. I have to go... Not today the episode or anything, but man, I feel old. Your, your uh, birthday is coming up soon. My birthday is coming up. I'm gonna be old. Nah. I'm just gonna take some pictures, even though I don't have much film. Um, just because it gives me damage bonuses versus assholes. Like well, you only took a B-graded picture. I, I know. You have to get them in action to get uh, higher pictures. Really? But that not that dangerous? Yep. But that's not their problem. <laughs> that's ours. I guess. Um, I'm going to start using a different weapon because I'm out of pistol shots and I have full shots on everything else. Here's McDonough meeting Ryan. Oh my god, Atlas, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's like three in a row you've interrupted. I should just stop moving when I'm listening to those. Maybe. Sorry, everybody at home, I'm not going to replay that one, though. You can go back and pause if you want to read what he says. Um, Unless it was the second part, in which then you're screwed. True. Oh shit, I didn't need to use an e-pipo, I didn't even mean to. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, something that you can do, but it's not going to get you very many points is oops you can take a, a picture of a dead one see? see it's a c rank but but it's a lot safer than taking a picture of a live one <laughs> that's true Oops. that's very true and it's funny that you um you take picture and you get the bonus right away even though technically you would have to return it and have it analyzed. Right, yeah, you'd have to go and actually develop the film. And like uh, how Dragon Age has it. You collect the parts, you return them, and then you gain the boost. Right. Which makes more sense, right? Because yeah. cause then you've done your research. and. Unless you kind of have some like wireless transmitter that um, sends the pictures right away and he sends you his feedback in an instant. I don't know. Which doesn't make sense because... This is steampunk, so of course there's no wireless. <laughs> um, pretty soon, uh, I'm on the lookout, but pretty soon we're going to be getting a... Uh, uh, um, oh shit. Killer! Uh, pretty soon we're going to be getting... What's shooting at you? Uh, just a lead head spacer. You know, just a creepy person. Look at that! Woo. Quality research photo! Woo. Trophy! Let's just Thanks for the trophy, Mac! No problem. Let's 
just get that because now we get scrounger. Splicing scrounger. Uh. <laughs> Splicing scrounger is like having a sixth sense. You'll spot things you'd otherwise miss and discover things you'd otherwise leave behind. With scrounger, you'll swear you have x-ray vision. I don't see... See, okay, so maybe that's just me, but... I wouldn't want that kind of power. No? Oh no. shit, I didn't mean to take another picture. That's gonna, like, give us nothing. Sweet. Uh... So, penalty? Yeah. Whoosh! Sh Shotgunned. Get out! <laughs> um... You're just pilfering you get, everything? You don't... You wouldn't want the power to look at something and then look at it again and find different stuff? No. Why? Um... I think I would be disturbed that I didn't see it the first time around. Oh. Oh yeah, I get you. I feel like it would annoy me to, um... Yeah, I don't know. I have a keen sense of observation. Right, and, so... And if I missed it, I'd be like, damn it, damn it, I missed it. You know, I'd get upset. I get you. Uh, I wouldn't really want the power to shoot the electricity out of my hands either. Cause what, what plasmid would you like? That's an interesting question. Uh, telekinesis would be cool. Uh, telekinesis, yeah. I know you haven't seen them all, but mm. out of the ones that we have so far. <laughs> out of the ones I remember. Um, telekinesis is always a power I've wanted, though. I yeah. mean, my favorite X-Men is Jean Grey, so... That makes sense. Um, I like it. I like her even better as Phoenix. Um, oh, well. But I like Phoenix as itself, you know? Um, yeah, the Phoenix Force is kind of crazy. Yeah. I wouldn't want that power, though. No, me neither. <laughs> Although, I mean, if I get the power and I'm young enough to always look young then maybe but if i get it old where i'm always coming back old i wouldn't like that well i was like talking more like the the part where you're just always crazy oh yeah there's that <laughs> like but that, i mean that's not great you, you you deal with it you know yeah or you know people deal with it because you don't really care <laughs> um no, telekinesis would be a cool power, just yes. because I'm generally lazy. Oh, okay. Uh, but I would have to be careful and work out a lot more, because then I get fat. Oh, because, yeah, you wouldn't, uh... Because I'm very lazy. <laughs> you know, like, I'm aware of it. There we go. And, you know what? As long as you're aware of it, you're able to take corrective steps, right? Yeah, which I am. <laughs> so there you go. So it wouldn't be too much of an issue, would it? Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it would, because then you'd be like, Ah, I'll work out tomorrow. <laughs> Give me that bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'll grab it myself. <laughs> oh, shit. No! Don't go anywhere. I should really be taking pictures of these nitro splicers, because I haven't researched them yet. My bad. I'm sorry, everybody at home. I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't been researching nitro splicers. Is that a bad thing? Well, yeah, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm not getting the bonus to them then, right? Oh, could you do it hard mode and not research it at all? Uh, yeah, you could. Mm. Aside from spider splicers, you have to take the first picture of the spider splicer because it's yeah story Part related. The story, yeah. What the hell? It has a <laughs> um a police hat. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, maybe. every citizen down here, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, let's get multiple subjects in the shot. You can do that? What? Come on. Yes, you can. There we go. That's better. Bonus, multiple subject. We're on easy, right? I'm pretty sure we're I on don't, easy. I don't know. I think I put it on easy so that like it would be like more just like a story ride than a than an actual. Can challenge. you check? Yeah, probably. Op oh, not load options. Uh, gameplay options. Yeah. Yeah, easy. you're on easy. Yeah. Uh, I was like, man, this is like extremely easy. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was like, I don't understand why I'm not losing more health, but that actually does make sense if I put it on easy for a story thing. Because I, I just wanted it to be like a, a, a easy ride. 
playthrough so that it was like more just like an a experience. casual playthrough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, an experience than a. Plus, if you make it a little bit harder, that? I'll be a lot more scared. Do you remember? Seven five two three. Thank you. So seven five. Whoops. Three. I think. Three. Looks Bam. like you're right. But they're well, not here there. Here we are. We're in Masha's parents' place where they had their last bit of dollars. And they're dead. And they're dead. Isn't that sad? But they died together. I'm gonna eat their cake. Oh, that's so sad. So I'll let you read this because. Oh, this is the emotional payoff. Oh shit. <laughs> Bastard. I'm fucking trying to. Don't go too far because Atlas will cut you off. Oh, yeah, he will. He's rude like that. Wait, so it's not both of them? It is. Shorten alarms! Woohoo! Anyway, I don't need that. Because so I can sad. always just pay $20 to end an alarm. Which is a lot simpler than waiting it out. Shotgun. That's so sad. At least they died together. So like, like, and even just that, even just a visual cue like that, like what does that tell you, right? There's a shotgun laying on the ground, there's like fucking scatter here, blood splatter here, and a dead person. Like, it, it tells a story, you know, item placement. I guess. And that's like where a lot of the creepiness of System Shock came from, is they didn't have, they had like audio diaries and stuff like that, but mostly it was like, it was just visual storytelling. Still scary. I love it. So cool. Still creepy. Of course it is. But that's the point. Creepy. It's trying to be creepy. Creepy. Okay, I guess we're hacking this thing. Hack it! Oh god. Okay, thank oh no. Oh no. Uh Okay, good. Oof. I don't think the, uh, I don't think the difficulty of these, oh shit, I don't think the difficulty of these are adjusted at all, by the way, by, uh, what difficulty setting we're on. No, they so still, still hard. Yeah, I think they still get hard, um, even if you're on easy. Hmm. I, I actually don't know, uh, for a fact, but I imagine that's the way it is. Oh, hey, look, whoa, proximity mine. It just threw shit out at me. I <laughs> know, right? The safe's like, here, fun, have it, jeez. Yeah, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, electric buck, I don't need any more. Okay. Man, I have so here much ammo. This would earth. not be the case if we were playing on hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say easy mode much? Yeah. Hack it! Uh, it's, it's working for someone right now. Hack it! Make it work for you! Yeah. <laughs> I can actually hack it while it's working for someone. That's hilarious. Yeah, you would just change its AI, right? Well, it doesn't have AI. It's Steam. It's a Steam work thing. So, whoops. I need this. I need one more straight pipe. Oh, wait. What am I talking about? It's fucking right here in front of my face. Oh, God. Oh, sometimes this game is hard. <laughs> you got lots of time, though. I don't know I what know. you're stressed about. Oh, I'd be stressed about that. Kill it! Not yet. Kill it with hey, not fire. For the camera. Oh, God. Thanks, bro! <laughs> I don't think it's very Goodbye. happy with you. Well, you know what? I took a nice picture of him, so he should be happy with me. He will go down in history. Because yeah. next time on C3... He's gonna go down in history as the guy who went out like a dick. <laughs> Next time on C3.